Hi guys, I wasn't going to record anything until I moved, but I really had to get this off my plate because I am so frustrated right now and it's driving me crazy. I had this insane craving earlier for mint chocolate chip ice cream. Really wanted mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I had like this internal argument with myself on whether or not I should get out of my pajamas to go get ice cream. And eventually the ice cream loving angel won. And I don't even match right now because I was so desperate to go get this ice cream. Like I'm wearing this blue like dressy shirt and like these gray dress pants that don't go together at all. But uh, anyways, I got dressed and I left and I didn't know where Baskin Robbins is. I've lived in Virginia Beach for three years and I still have no idea where anything is. I use Google Maps all the time. And uh, I sat in my car and I found where Baskin Robbins was and it was just up the road, like a 10 minute drive maybe. So I was like, oh, I don't need this, which stupid me, I should know that I always need Google Maps, even if it's just down the road, because I always miss it. So I turned Google Maps off. I was like, yeah, I'll see it! Baskin Robbins! And I left, totally excited to get my mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I kept driving and driving and driving and driving until eventually I went past the highway and kind of thought to myself, Hmm, probably went too far. So, as I'm driving, I open up my Google Maps. Don't ever text and drive. I open up my Google Maps, and I do my most recent search, which was Baskin Robbins. So I had to do a U-turn at the nearest light, and I passed it by, like, a five to ten minute drive. So I basically had to drive, like, all the way back, to my house to get to Baskin Robbins and then realized that the Baskin Robbins was attached to the Dunkin Donuts which is why I didn't see it so I was still mad at myself but I wasn't that upset so next problem there was no easy way to get into this Baskin Robbins going the other way I had to turn left to get to this Baskin Robbins and there was no straight path into its parking lot. I didn't know I had to make like a U-turn on the street and then turn into the parking lot. No, I turned off of that light to go into it because there was like this little shopping center thing there. And I was like, yes, ice cream. And I was so excited. And then I ended up in like this neighborhood for some reason because I thought that like I could bypass this little shopping center by going behind it, but apparently not. It was a dead-end neighborhood, so I had to U-turn there as well. And uh, was still keeping my cool, hadn't gotten really upset yet. Was a little annoyed, but not upset. <laughs> so I ended up just parking in this little area instead of trying to get to the Baskin Robbins parking lot. And then I walked across the grass to Baskin Robbins and I got inside and there was only like one or two people working because it's Sunday so they weren't very busy and I waited for like five minutes for this cashier chick to get done with their last customers and their mint chocolate chip ice cream was covered so I was like oh maybe they just covered it up you know I don't know why maybe it's just covered so I asked the lady, she's like, no, we're out of it. And I was like, duh, totally upset. But I'm one of those people where if I walk into a business like that, I feel like I actually have to buy something instead of just walking out when they don't have what I want. So I'm an Oreo fanatic, and I love Oreo flavored ice cream. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just get your Oreo sundae. And she hit me with the next news. There were no Oreos. 
They were out of Oreos too. They were out of everything. They only had like sherbet ice cream and I was getting so uh So I had to like breathe in and out and count to three because I had gotten dressed for nothing and lost for nothing to come to a Baskin Robbins and only leave with a double scoop of chocolate ice cream. But I guess in the end I got ice cream, right? So that's a win. But man, I really wanted that mint chocolate chip ice cream. I still want it, even though I had chocolate ice cream. But I'm not going back out again. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or maybe suggestions for videos I should do in the future just put them in the comments below and uh, let me know any experiences like this you've had you know I know there are probably a lot crazier ones out there than mine but thanks for watching guys bye